Today I'm gonna to walk you through simple steps to secure your home Wi-Fi network to make sure that your home is a safe place to get online. Let's get this done. Welcome to All Things Secured, my name's Josh. This is Tech Tip Tuesday, a segment of this channel where I walk you step by step through the most important things that you can do in five minutes or less to increase your security and privacy on things like your mobile devices and here for your Wi-Fi router and your home network. Now, a lot of people just set their home network and forget about it. They take the password and the SSID that they were given by their internet provider and that's what they use. But there are so many more steps that you can take and I'm just gonna share with you five of the easiest ones that you can do right now. And this is gonna be require you to be near your router. So if you can just move to the place where you're gonna be with your router. You wanna be looking at your router in order to log into the administration. If you're using any other router, you, it's generally gonna be on the bottom or on the back and side where you can find that six or seven digit code along with a password that's printed on it. If you're using an Apple Airport, you can log into the Airport app on your uh, Mac. And what you're looking for, the first thing that we wanna change is the SSID. This is the ID that comes up when you're searching for Wi-Fi. What you may not realize is that a lot of these IDs can be tied back to the manufacturer of that particular router. And that router may have known vulnerabilities so that if I, as a hacker, see that particular ID I know how I can hack into it. In addition to that, it also can be an identifier to know, oh, that that Wi-Fi is related to this house that's really expensive and I would wanna definitely hack into that. So what you wanna do is you just wanna rename it. Try not to make it too personally identifiable. Don't make it your name if you can. Just make it something that changes the name of the SSID and then allows you to know exactly what it is. It's not gonna make this super secure, but it is just a simple change that you can make. While you're in there, the second thing that we wanna do is we wanna set up a new, more secure password. Obviously, your internet provider gave you a password and set up your Wi-Fi with password protection, but you wanna do something that's maybe a little bit better. So you wanna create a strong, unique password. Um, I use a password generator and a password manager, like 1Password, to help me with stuff like this, and that's something you can consider as well. When you're in the settings for your router, another thing you wanna look at is disabling remote access. There's very few times when you're gonna to wanna to have the ability to remotely access your router. What that means is if you're not physically present near the Wi-Fi router, it's giving you the ability to basically dial in from another location. And there's no reason that you're going to want to use that for most people. It's an advanced feature, so I recommend that you take and disable that feature if you can. If you have a lot of guests over, one of the things that happens is you tend to give out your Wi-Fi password, and that Wi-Fi password gets stored in their devices for basically forever. If you were to look into your Wi-Fi settings, you'd find that you probably have quite a few networks that are remembered and saved in your device. Now what that means is they also have access to your network depending on how it's set up. That could even include your Internet of Things devices like your Alexa or your Google uh, Assistant, all of these things. So one of the things that I do that can be done in a number of different ways is setting up a separate Wi-Fi network for guests and other people. So I have a Wi-Fi network that's secured specifically for my family and our devices. And then I have a separate network that is for my Internet of Things and for any guests that come in so that when they ask for that password, I'm not giving away my secure password that I use for you know the all of my internet connection stuff. Now, this can be done by having a separate router entirely, which takes a little bit of time to set up. If you use something like an Apple Airport or some other advanced routers, they actually have an option for what they call a guest ID. And this just sets up a separate uh, Wi-Fi network that is completely separated so that they don't have access to your home network when they access that particular guest network. Finally, this is something that I don't see a lot of people doing, but it's really important. Let's say that you're going on a vacation or you're leaving your house for more than just the regular hours of work. Turn off your Wi-Fi. There's no reason to have your Wi-Fi continuing to go on because especially if you're using Internet of Things, Alexa, all of these other devices, those are just other access points to your network and the last thing you want is to just leave that open and available for anybody to just take their time trying to hack while you're away from your house. That's the tip I've got for you today. If you want other great Tech Tuesday tips, I recommend you check out this playlist. If you have any other questions about securing your home network, leave them in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.